Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we got six little articles on this page, sort of tidy looking little articles there. But they're a lot longer than they appear. If we look at them, we've got a little button in each one of them. When I click on it, it'll reveal the full amount of text in there. Same for our one next door. And again. And again. And obviously these two as well. That's the way it would display if you were just displaying these as regular modules. And we can close them up. As you can see it changes from read more to close when it's open. So you can close it back up. But you can tidy up these sort of random looking articles here. Really easily. We're using the fantastic plugin Divi Supreme Modules for this today. It's a premium plugin. If you want to learn more, check out the link below the video here. OK, well, let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. Let's enable the Visual Builder. OK, once enabled, we can go down to where we want to work. Let's just get rid of this row and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this whole section. And we'll add a new row. I'll use three columns as that's what I used before. Now before we start building this, you want to make sure that you have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated. Once you've got it activated, go down to your dashboard to Divi Supreme Pro here. Click on it. It'll open this page here. Make sure on the General Settings tab. We want to go down. Make sure you've got this switch enabled. Enable Divi Read More Content. If you don't do this today, this will not work. And we've demonstrated some more of these extensions in other videos. Once you've done that, make sure you hit Save Changes and you're good to go. Start building. So this will work with most text type modules. I'm going to use a blurb module for mine so we can use an icon. So let's grab that blurb. Obviously, put your title in there. And I'm going to go over to Lipson.com and get a bit of content. I've got a big long list up there. Let's copy that and we'll pop it into our content here. Let's have just a bit of content. There we go. And as you can see, that's made that module extremely long there, which is fine. But let's just move this over here so we can see what's going on. OK, and like any other thing you can add images you can justify left right center however you want to do it if we roll on down below you can change the image to an icon if you want to which is I'm, I'm going to do that here I'm going to use the icon now let's just use one of these icons that's right there Divi have just partnered with font awesome so there's an awful lot of icons you can scroll for a long way or you can do a search Well, it's got a little icon just here. If you click on this little icon here, it'll pop out into a break box and make it easier for you to see. But there are a lot of them. <laughs> OK, well, I'm going to stick with that one. I'm not going to link my module anywhere. I'm just going to have the click work for read more. But if you did want to link the title, you could put a link in there. And if you wanted the whole module to link to something, you could put a link in here. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Great. I'm not going to bother putting a background color or image or anything in there. So let's move on to our design tab now. I'm just going to make that icon the standard blue. I'm not going to give it a background color. It's fine at the top there. Let's roll on down. You can do all your text at once if you want to by going to text right here and you're going to line it all in the middle, left to right. I'm going to leave mine on the left for this particular one. Title text, you can do separately from the body text if you want to. Let's just make this perhaps capitalized. I'll make it that same blue color. Let's make it bold or semi bold so it stands out. Let's go for bold this time. That's fine. Great. Rolling on down. You can style the body text in the same way. Divi has a crazy amount of fonts, like I'm sure you know if you've seen any other of my videos. If you hover over an example, 
it'll show you what it is. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. I'm going to leave all that text just as it is. Sizing wise, I'm not going to change that. Spacing wise, I will give it a bit of spacing top, bottom, left and right. In fact, if I go down to the border below, then I'll put the spacing in. You'll see why I need spacing. So I've clicked on the border just below it in the design tab. I'm selecting do all four at once. You can do top, right, bottom or left separately if you want to. Let's give it just a pixel. Yeah, something like that that just defines it a bit. But as you can see, all my bullet points are stuck up against the side there and it's all buffered up against the top. So that's where I need my padding to take place. So if I now go back up here to my spacing, I'm going to go into the padding. Let's give it, say, 30 top and bottom. Just put in the 30. It'll put the picks in for you. Hit the chain, it will do the opposite side. Now let's try 15 left and right. May not be enough. It's 15. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Let's put the same in the other side. Great, that's looking a little tidier there. Fantastic. Now let's just finish off with a little bit of box shadow. Lift it off the page. There we go. But that is crazy long. And if you've got several articles like this, you know, it's a lot of scrolling for people to do. And it looks kind of random when you have them all different sizes on the pages. So we can fix this. Now remember, make sure that you've done this first. Enable Divi Read More Content right there. Because our next bit won't work if you haven't. Now we're going to go over to our Advanced tab. We're going to go down to Visibility. If we roll down, because we turned that switch on that I just showed you, we've got a Use Read More button right here. I'm going to flip that to on. And just make note, this isn't previewable in the Visual Builder. So when we're building on the front end or the back end, we're not going to notice the changes here. But when we go to the front end, it'll go to where we want it. So you can choose to just do this on mobile only if you think you've got enough space on the desktop. Otherwise, leave it off. It'll show on all desktop, laptop and mobile. So I'm going to leave mine off. Collapse height, I'm going to say about 350, which should be about here. Obviously, you make yours what you want. You can use a slider or you can type in a value. Again, just put in the number. It'll put in the pics for you. Remember, we won't see anything on this end. What you want the text to actually say, well, read more is fine. Or learn more. Whatever it is you want yours to say. And when we actually go and expand it, it'll change from learn more to close. So I'll say show less. Put in whatever it is you want to say there. And again, you've got all the font options. There's loads of fonts. Align it, text. I'm going to pop the text in the middle because I think I will have this button kind of in the middle. You can change text size down here. I'm not sure if it will show on the back end or not. No, it's not going to show on the back end here. Choose the link text color. Well, I'm going to do a bit of blind coding here. Well, I'll just get, I'll make it our regular blue and then I'll come back in and I'll show you how we can code it using this custom CSS box to make it from just a bit of text into a button. Okay, so let's save our changes now. Save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. When we exit the Visual Builder, you should see that thing shrink down to about 350. So let's exit the Visual Builder. There we have it. And as you can see, it shrunk down to 350 when we hit the Learn More text there. It opens up to show us all of that text and it changes to show less there. We can click on it again. Now in my example, I just changed that into a button by changing the color of the text. I gave it a little bit of padding all around and then I just changed the background color to make it look more like a button. If you like to do that, let's do that. And I'll put this code down below for anybody who wants to use it. It's really easy. Let's re-enable the Visual Builder. And let's go back down in here, back into the module, the dark tab, back over to the advance, down to visibility again. There's our read more. 
a little custom code box at the bottom here and this is purely for that link like I say I'm not sure that we'll be able to see it we can't see it on the back end here so I'm going to give it some padding all around so on the top I'm going to give it 10 picks on the top so I'm going to say padding colon 10 picks I'll give it 10 picks all around I'm going to give it another value let's say 20 picks so the first 10 picks will be top and bottom and the 20 picks will be left and right pixels there great and I also want to make sure that that link color is turned white in a minute because I think we turned it blue and let's give it that nice blue color or we'll give it a blue background I'll find out what that hex code is I'll roll back at the top here that icons the correct color I've got a free color picker up here let's get that color there it is okay and let's make the background simply so can say background colon it's a hex color so I need to put a hashtag and then the number semicolon great so I've just given it padding around that link of 10 top and bottom 20 left and right and I've given it a background color which is the same as our icon over there okay well I need to go back up and change that link text color to white so we'll see it on that button field save our changes save the page changes save draft or publish and exit the visual builder and now we've got a little button instead of a just a link there and again when we open it we'll have that same button once you're happy with the styles you can simply rinse and repeat if we enable the visual builder again let's go over to Laura Mipsum and we'll get some paragraphs instead of a list this time Just grab a couple of paragraphs there and we can go back over here click on our little module we'll clone it little two squares right there drag one copy it across drop it where you want it we'll go into this one let's call it article 2 change your text out in there and drop down obviously change your icon if you want to rinse and repeat clone it pull one of them across doesn't matter which one they're identical call this article 3 now we'll call this one article 3 take some of that text away put an image in instead perhaps there we go and we'll change out that icon and we should be good to go we'll save our page changes and exit the visual builder and there we have it we've got our three little articles all the nice same size of course when we expand them they'll show us exactly what's inside them and when you've seen enough you can hit show less that's a great little feature to have on your site and that works on all responsive devices as well so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.